Hi guys, this is Raul with Cypress. Uh, I want to show you really fast how to turn on an LED, the very basic building block of engineering. All right, so in this case, what we're going to use, we're going to use the uh, piece of four creator uh, and pioneer boards, okay? Uh, so let's get started. First of all, we're going to open Creator 3.1. Creator starts off in this nice little landing page where you can get a lot of information. What we're going to get started is go ahead and open a new project. The new project we're going to choose, first of all, is the part that we already have, which is a 4200. We select the default template, which is basically an empty canvas, uh, and we give it a name. It's important to notice we have to select the device. In this case, the board has the 4245AXI part, which is the default. It's already selected. But make sure you select that. You can see uh, what part is there in the schematic or in the board itself in the silk screen. Once we get started, Creator starts off with a very nice white canvas. And this is the way Creator works. We have to set up the hardware first of all. So in this case, since we, what we're going to do is to turn on an LED, let's go and find the pin for that. We want a digital output. This gives us the selection in the menu on the right. We drag and drop. Basically, this, this is going to help us assign that pin. What we're going to do is we're going to check either in the schematic that we have available online or in the board, which pin we're going to be using and modifying. In this case, the board has uh, an RGB LED. We're going to use, let's use the red one, which is in P16. We're going to set that uh, without a hardware connection as an output, and we're going to have the initial drive state as low. Add a name to it, LED red, and we say OK. After that, what we need to do is we need to map the part to whatever pin it's assigned to. And we do that in the CYDWR option in the left side of the menu. That gives us all the pinouts. We go ahead. We can either, again, select on the part uh, on the board which, which pin we're talking about. We said it was a P16. Drag and drop, P16. And we can go ahead. We can build. And then we can program. We can do both at the same time, but just for chromatic purposes, let's do one first. And program. As you can see, the LED is immediately on. All right. So now the interesting thing to notice, we didn't do any software at all. We're just directly manipulating the hardware on the part. If we wanted to turn off the LED, what we need to do is just change the status of the pin that we have here and directly interwine with the with the LED. If you want more information on this, you can just go directly to cypress.com and uh, you can find the schematics, you can have some uh, software examples and a bunch of information on how to do it. See you next time.